What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Building the Brokerage. Last week we uh, gave you a tour of the office that we just closed on yesterday. So right now it's Friday morning. I'm going to log in. I'm teaching a class on building a business to our agent success department. Then I've got some interviews later for our accounting department, a coaching call, and Andrew and I are going to head up to Home Depot. we got to get paint and flooring because we're going to renovate our new office. Um, and so we'll take you along for the day. See you in a little bit. Trying to join this meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's saying the uh, meeting link is invalid. Oh shoot. Okay. And just click meetings and then yeah, under upcoming. It says today it just says one. And uh, business bank accounts. We talked about how to do your accounting. We've discussed time management, time blocking. Um, and so as opposed to continuing forward, what I'd like to do today, since since y'all weren't uh, a part of all of those, um, I'd love for you guys to just kind of tell me where y'all at and what y'all may need help with or what you're struggling with right now in your business. Today's gonna be a great lesson. Uh, Damien, KB Core is the company-wide CRM uh, that we sent out to everybody. KB Core does a lot of different stuff. Um, you're gonna have your own personal website where you can send it out, generate leads that way. It's all gonna be connected to your CRM. But before diving into KV Core, <clears throat> let's talk about sales and how important sales is. Uh, sales and your revenue is gonna, it's, it's how your business survives, right? Without sales and without top line revenue coming in, um, you're not going to be in business and so the sales process generating sales and following up with leads and running them through the sales process to generate revenue is the most vital and important thing in your business without sales you don't have a business right first you need to get those contacts into kv core uh and then work your sphere right <clears throat> work in your sphere of influence i'm sure that everybody has heard that uh staying in touch with people, seeing how you may be able to help, so on and so forth. Find out what's, in, what's important to this client, what services or products they're looking for, and how me and, and or my company or my product or service can provide this for this potential client, solve their problem, and we do a trade. They give me money, I give them product or service, hopefully it's a win-win and everybody's happy, and we continue to, to do business, right? <clears throat> What's going on guys? So. <laughs> All right, we are done with some meetings. I just got out of a coaching call. Uh, we had a few interviews um, for an admin position with TRE that went well. Had our traction meeting this morning. And now we are on our way to, I'm gonna try Lowe's first. We're gonna go to Lowe's get our paint and get our flooring and get our court around for the new office go drop it off so that the contractors can hit the ground running and get started we just funded on the office so now it's time to get busy let's see you at Lowe's. what's going on just waiting on paint We've got our flooring picked out Got our quarter round, so now I just gotta pay. Almost done.
right guys, just finished unloading 1,600 square foot of LVP flooring. We have uh, about 15 rods of uh, pieces of um, quarter round. And then we got some repost gray. This is gonna go on the walls in the house. And then we got basic white that's gonna be on the trim and the doors and on the uh, baseboards. And then we got a few gallons of pitch black. This is what the new studio is gonna be. Paint everything black. Wall, trim, baseboards, doors. And then we're gonna install those two light fixtures in the studio as well. But that's about it. Spent about 40, 200 bucks on these materials. Labor's gonna cost around seven. Um, that's just for flooring and paint. Then we gotta convert this garage into a classroom. So we're gonna install a split AC unit and the labor and, and the materials for that's gonna be around 3,800 bucks. Then we're looking at insulating the garage door from the Texas uh, weather conditions. Don't know how much that's gonna be, not much though. So all in, we're probably around 15 grand for this uh, renovation. Real, just kind of make it look nicer for our office. Um, and then that's about it. Then we got to go buy furniture. We got to get all this stuff to furnish the office. I'm hoping we can stay under five grand for that too. We had to uh, get a different loan for this house. Initially, we were going to get it with hard money and uh, get the rehab financed uh, by the hard money lender. However, there's an issue with the loan. So we got it via seller financing, which is good for us. We got better terms, lower down payment. Um, but with seller financing, we do not get the rehab finance. So we're having to come out of pocket for that. But all is good. We're figuring it out. So today's Friday. Over the next few days, our contractors are going to be here fixing it up. And then we'll give you a tour of the finished office. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.